is up YouTube the mummy dust here so today we are going to be doing part two of my video series from noob to pro tips tip number two is catches I highly recommend that you catch as many Pokemon as you possibly can and I'm going to be talking about the ways that you can do so so tip number one is to make sure that you're always stocked up on pokeballs so having friends opening up gifts spinning stops stuff like that so make sure you have plenty of pokeballs step number two is to find a place in your area that has a lot of spawns so i did catch a bunch of the pokemon already but they have started to respawn already so this is a shopping center that includes a walmart here is this big building and kind of like a strip mall over here so there another pokemon spawned and there are a lot of spawn points here so once you stock up on pokeballs then you can come here and kind of just go around and catch all of these pokemon and then once you get back to the beginning they'll kind of respawn again so i've been here for less than five minutes after catching and there are four more so that's a good place you want to be able to find multiple places that are like this hopefully they're close to some stops some gyms so that you can stock back up this is kind of close to the downtown area in the city that i live close to so i went there stocked up on pokeballs now i have a bunch so we're going to start catching some of these and i'm going to show you a way to skip the ball shaking motion so what you do is uh this is what it looks like it's called the quick catch trick yeah so what you do is you basically um, put your finger on the pokeball over here i'm going to switch to a great ball here but you put your finger on the pokeball and slide it over and then you throw it with your other hand and then let go, tap the screen, and hit the run away button. It allows you to skip that method. So um, right there, I did catch that crow gunk. If you go to catch on, um, if you go to click on it again and it disappears, that means you caught it. If it stays there, that means, or if it shows up again, that means you didn't catch it. So you're just gonna have to throw another ball at it. So this is a method to catch them all very quickly so that you're not spending a bunch of time doing it. I will make another video showing that um, motion so that you guys can see my hands while I do it tip number two is to save up your research rewards that include Pokemon catches so if you do not catch it and you simply just run away from it it will stay up here in this stack so in this case with the quick catch trick if you throw the ball and do the trick and then you click on it again if it's the same pokemon it means you didn't catch it if it is a different pokemon that means you did catch that last one so i'll show you guys what i mean again going back into the recent so there are the three trapinches or the two trapinches and the cubone so those are the three pokemon that i caught they're a manky spawned so we're going to catch that as well and then tip number three i recommend um if you can spend the money or if you really want to uh one of the catching devices is very beneficial and i will rank them in order uh this is my opinion i have tried all three and the gotcha is my favorite so i would recommend that is the best it automatically catches pokemon and spin stops you don't have to push a button you don't have to do anything you just have to connect it uh number two would be the pokeball plus the pokeball plus as long as you have a pokemon in it from the Pokemon Let's Go game, or if you leave the Mew in it, if you just buy the Pokeball by itself, it will spin the stops automatically. You do have to push the button in order to catch Pokemon. And then the third one is the P Go Plus. That one, you have to push the button for both. Uh, and it does usually prioritize Pokemon over Poke Stops. So uh, it is easy to run out of Pokeballs, even if you're going by Poke Stops. In a case like this, it's not as big of a deal. The big deal with the Pigo Plus is it does not have a rechargeable battery. It has a small replaceable battery that you have to replace once a week if you use it a lot. Um, and that's a high quality one. If you buy one that's lower quality and lower price, it only lasts a couple days. Uh, hopefully these Pokemon can show back up. So I recommend the Pigo Plus last. Um, if you already have one, I mean, you can stick with it if you really like it. The advantage to that one is that you can check the Pokemon to see if they're shiny before they run away. Even then, last night, I clicked on a Makuhita and I hit the button at the same time. 
and it was shiny and then I just felt it run away from me and my heart just broke so those are some of the disadvantages though gotcha pretty much catches them before you even have a chance to click on it uh, especially if it does like this little disappearing game that Pokemon Go does often but those are the tips I'm going to make another video showing my hands on the motion of doing the quick catch trick um, so that you guys can see what it looks like there is a way to do it with one hand too um, I almost always use two hands because I like to throw to the left side of the screen where it basically requires you to throw to the right hand side of the screen if you do the one-handed trick so I do have a little bit of difficulty with that anyways please make sure you like and subscribe the video and I will see you guys next time let's shoot for five likes on the video that would be absolutely amazing and if you want to make sure that you know when I post my next video make sure you hit the notifications so that you can see as soon as possible when that pops up and I will see you guys next time